Hello, I've made my tiny home fully self-powered by the EcoFlow Power Kit. So right here, you'll see this is our tiny home with all the appliances. We have a bunch of lights over here. We have the EcoFlow Power Hub right here. This is a brains that connects the whole power kit together. So the EcoFlow Power Hub connects to one, two, three. These three batteries right here, each of these are five kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. That's a total of 15 kilowatt of power right here. We also have the AC-DC distribution box right here that pulls the power from the battery to the power hub and the power hub has a distribution right here to six AC circuits and 12 DC circuits. We have all these power adapters all around the home because we don't have a place to drill into the home, uh, into our tiny home. So this is just where the power comes out of the distribution into these power strips right here. So literally, you can see everything on here. So I can put this down here. So you can see we have different circuits. So you can name these circuits. You have circuit one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've named all of them except this one. So let's go ahead and name this one lights. I'm gonna put that in capital letters, L-I-G-H-T-S and save it, save. So this will be my lights. I'll show you that we can turn off the lights. Here, I have the EcoFlow app connected. So if I go here, I have the same information on my app. So here is my total output. You see I have lights already synced over. It's drawing 45 watts. So that's all the lights in our shed. So if I turn off this circuit breaker, number one, it's gonna turn off all the lights. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom. And you see the, the wattage drops for the lights right there. It's zero watts now. All the lights are off. All the other appliances are still on because they're in different circuits. Now let me turn on the lights again, boom. The lights are on. It takes a little while because some of these lights need a little time to warm up, but so these lights are on. Light, 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 light. And if you look right here, our lights are back pulling 47 watts right there. You can see the same information right here. Our lights are pulling 45 watts. Perfect, right? So you can see we have a lot of appliances here as well. The refrigerator is constantly running. So the refrigerator is actually circuit number six. And you know, the refrigerator doesn't actually draw a lot of power. So it's kind of sitting there at zero amps, but it does kick on once it needs it, right? Now look at this one. This one's our Philips air fryer. So I'll bring this with me right here. and we. Have have the Philips air fryer right here. Watch as I turn this one on. You're gonna see the power draw. Look at 1.47 kilowatt, 1.46. You see that power? And then of course, this is nowhere near the limit and the capability of the EcoFlow power hub because this is nothing right here. You can see the energy usage right here. We're using 1.45 kilowatt and that is the Philips, right? We can actually turn on the microwave here too. So if I start the microwave right here, my microwave is now pulling 206 watt, 1.7, 1.43. There we go, 1.43. If you look over here, it matches it. The graph goes up, we're at 2.98. The microwave is 1.42. And if you wanna push it even more, we also got this air fryer right here. We're gonna turn this one on and you can see, boom, right there. I'll turn on the lights too so you can see in there. This is the air fryer. We're putting one kilowatt for this air fryer right here. One kilowatt for the air fryer right there. 1.32. Of course, the microwave just finished, so it's kicking down. We have the rice cooker keeping warm. We got the water heater right here. So you can see we pull about 3.6 kilowatt of power. This thing can handle it. It's 3.6 kilowatt maximum, but it can spike up to like seven kilowatt. It's crazy. I could not get this thing to shut off. It's crazy. As you see, we have all these things on. We're gonna cook dinner right now. So let me turn off all that. Let me turn off the air fryer. We are gonna cook dinner right now. We're actually gonna put some chicken in here. This is the air fryer. Let's go. Who doesn't like chicken nuggets, right? Roasting chicken nuggets right there. We probably don't want too much. There we go. That's a good amount. We got chicken nuggets. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. So if you stay to the end, after we start all these things, I'm gonna use this in addition to all of these running. That's gonna pull almost four kilowatt I wanna see if that trips it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start this. So we're gonna start this for eight minutes, right here. We'll set that for eight minutes and you'll be able to see over here, the Phillips is back up. It's at 1.4 kilowatt. That's cooking my chicken nuggets. Let's get the microwave working for us. So we got some chicken bake right here. Who doesn't like chicken bake from Kirtland, right? All right, so we got the chicken bake right here. This is 
a comfy retro style microwave with retro styles button and a nice digital LCD right there. It looks really cool. So pull this out open. Remember, this is still running and that's pulling about 1.55 kilowatt right there. You can see that's a total right there. We are pulling a total of 1.55 kilowatt. And then we're gonna put this right here. And chicken bake, usually you cook it for about two minutes per side. So let's get here, the chicken bake onto the plate right here. Da, 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 right there. All right, let's hope it doesn't spill out. It might spill out a little bit, but you know, we'll clean it up. All right, so let's go ahead and sit start. We're gonna add two minutes to that, boom. That's two minutes. Oh, microwave is running. What are we at? So microwave is 1.41 kilowatt, 1.43. We're at a total of three kilowatt hour right now. That's crazy, right? All right, what else do we need to make? Let's get some coffee while we're at it. Well, why not, right? We have a hot water boiler here. We're just gonna move it over there and we're gonna use the same power as the uh, air fryer. So we'll put this down here. Everything is running in real time. It's crazy. I know we're moving the air fryer over a little bit over here. Yeah, make some room for a hot water boiler. All right, we got the hot water boiler right here. Plug this baby in, boom. Plug this baby in right there. Yeah, baby, right there. Okay, it's on. And the hot water boiler is on the same circuit as a Phillip. So you can see right there, it's boiling at the water. Oh, it's, it's getting hot. Oh, the microwave just calmed down. The microwave's done with a cycle, so you can see how we dropped the power right there. You're never gonna use all the stuff at once like this. I'm just pushing everything to the limit, right? It's crazy. All right, so our microwave is done with the first cycle of the chicken bake. Why don't we just go ahead and flip that chicken bake around? Here we go, let's flip this chicken bake upside down. Ooh, look at that. That's real nice. All right, we're gonna flip this maybe upside down right there. All right, let's get another two minutes on here. Start, let's go. Two minutes, let's bump up the power wattage. We're at 1.2, 1.2, 2.3, 2.5, 2.4. It's getting hot. Let's get some bagels. We got another air fryer right here. Let me grab a bagel and I'll be right back. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This might trip the whole thing because I don't think I push it that much. We're at two point, we're at 3.54 kilowatt. Isn't that crazy? You can see everything right here. So let's get some bagel right here. And I don't think we need this one. Boom, take this one out. We'll just put, we'll put it on the rack right here. I'm trying to do things fast, as you can see, because I don't want the stuff to get done before I finish putting the bagel in. Let's put this down here. Boom, all right, that's gonna collect all the bits from the bagel. And then we'll put this on here and we'll put the bagel right on top there. Let's get our bagel. We have 44 seconds left on the microwave. We're boiling water, we got the chicken nuggets, we got the rice on keep warm. Did I forget to tell you, the rice is cooking too. The refrigerator's on a cycle. It's moving, it's working, it's grooving. Let's get some bagel right here. We got the bagel, open this up. We still got 29 seconds on the microwave. Here we go, bagel right there, bagel right there. Let's put this onto some toast right here. Toast that, let's get that for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Whoa, the light just dimmed down. We're at 3.6 kilowatt hour right there. We got the bagel running, the microwave is running, the air fryer is running, the, the hot boiler water is running. We got the rice cooker, the refrigerator right here. It legit has cool drinks. We got foods there, we got drinks right there. Everything's working. We got lights in the studio. All these lights are working. We are pushing this thing to the limit. And we got the DC fan. Did I tell you we have a DC right here? Oh, microwave is done. The hot water is boiling. You see that, you see that smoke and the water is boiling? Boiling right there, boom. All right, the air fryer is done. And I think our toaster might almost be done. We're gonna drop this down to maybe another three minutes right there for our bagel. Yeah, everything's working. We should also notice that there's DC right here because we have 12 DC circuits and you can actually independently control the DC too. Right here, you got AC, you also got DC. You see right here, this is a fan, a DC. I can turn on and off individual DC circuits. Oops, hang on, like that. DC fan, off. How cool is that? The six DC circuits you can manually control over here on and off by hitting that and it turns on 7 through 12 is always on you can choose between 12 volts or 24 volts all right I think we're good let me see how we're doing the chicken bake should be done the bagels are still toasting we got some steam right there it's making my hot water we got the air fryer air fryer is done Ooh. That looks good, that smells good. That's chicken nugget done right, my friend. All right, air fryer's good. We got the microwave right here. We got a chicken bake. Woo, look at that steam coming out. Is that hot? And you see it's so hot. The chicken bake actually bursts right there because it's so good. It's hot. All right, so chicken bake is done. Woo, 
Yum, 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 yum. All right, so I'm gonna leave this to the side right here. All right, so we got that right there, and we'll put this over here for now. Is the water boiled yet? Oh, shoot. The water is up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot right there. So it's on a reboil right there. Let the water boil, because I'm gonna make me some Vietnamese coffee, but I need hot boiled water. So we're dropping the power down to 2.2 kilowatt now. The toaster is still toasting a bagel. It looks pretty good. It actually might be done. I'm gonna let it toast for just a little bit more. Again, the, the refrigerator is still on a cycle. It's still keeping this thing cool. And don't forget the whole lights in our studio is powered. If I turn off the lights, boom. But everything is still running. Our appliances are still running. The lights are off. I can turn back the lights. It's so cool because you have six individual circuits. So everything works so well. This is a whole power kit. Whoa! Ah, this thing dropped again. Oh my gosh. Obviously, we need to attach this to the wall a lot better. I think we're good. That bagel is getting toast. I'm gonna let it toast a little bit because I like it a little bit crispy. All right, we're down to 1.35 kilowatt. I think we're good. The microwave's done. The chicken nuggets done. I'm gonna make my hot coffee. Did I tell you about the drill? Let me just show you the drill real quick. Uh, let me show you the drill. You wanna see something crazy? You also have another input right here. If you want to, plug this in here and check us out. Watch this crazy drill right here. This is input number zero on the AC side right here. So go back to AC. Input number zero is this one right here. Watch that number right there. If I power on a drill, let's go. Power on. Look at that. Woo! 750 watts for the power drill. Let's go. So as you can see, this thing is capable of doing so much. It's crazy, guys. The EcoFlow power kit is nuts. It's bonkers. I could not get this thing to trip. Anyway, I think the bagel is eh, it's another 20 seconds because I want that a little bit more crisp. And then I'm gonna make my coffee right now because this water right here is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It's ready for my hot coffee. So Vietnamese coffee right here, done the quick way. Instant Vietnamese coffee because wherever you go, you can I go without some Vietnamese coffee right here. All right, so we got the Vietnamese coffee. Let's get some hot water right here. Boom. And there we go. Nice, steamy hot water. Now we're talking. I'm gonna get something to stir this with. I guess I can stir it with the chopstick because the chopstick's still pretty clean. So let's stir this right here. Oh yeah. Vietnamese coffee. What time is it? It's like 9 p.m. But you know what? Coffee is good any time of day because I love drinking coffee at night and I still fall asleep just like I didn't even have a drop of coffee. I don't know. Coffee doesn't work for keeping me up. I mean, I use it too much. I think the bagel is about ready. Oh yeah, the bagel is nice and crisp. We're gonna carefully take out the bagel with the chopsticks I use to stir my coffee, but don't worry, it still tastes fine. All right, let's see how that bagel looks. By the way, guys, this is a comfy retro air fryer slash toaster oven. We got three knobs right here. You got the broil, the air broil, the bake, the air bake, the toast, all these options here. This is an awesome, awesome toaster right here. Let's go ahead and open this up and you can see inside right here. Look what, what we got. Oh, nice, nice. I want to toast it a little bit more, but this is still pretty good for me right here. Oh yeah, that's crunchy. Oh yeah, that's crunchy. I want it a little bit more brown. You know, I think I should have moved this down a little bit lower because it didn't get the bottom as brown as I wanted. But you, you can see it's well toasted right there. So guys, that is everything. Oh my gosh. So what it is, is that we stuck this surge protector right here onto the wall with some double sticky tape because we don't have a better place to put this thing for now. We're gonna just stick it, oh and the fan fell down too. You can see everything is makeshift because we want to set up this kitchen in our tiny home. Mm, that's good. And let me get a little coffee too. All right, we're gonna try one more thing. So wait one second, I'm gonna get a sip of coffee and we are really gonna try to shut this thing down by overload. Let's see if we can overload it, okay? That's some good coffee. Let me know if you're impressed because I'm impressed. I've been impressed. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is one shot. We're gonna run everything and we're gonna run a power drill. I think we're gonna hit four kilowatts. This is rated at 3.6 kilowatts, which is crazy, but we're gonna try to hit four kilowatts, maybe in 4.2, we'll see. All right, let me get the power drill ready. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? It's gonna be nuts. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna start the microwave, the air fryer, the toaster, and oh, the water spoil is done. Don't worry, here we go. Let me go, one, two, three, boom. Turn that on, you can see that it's starting to wrap up. We're gonna turn the toaster on too. All right, we're at 2.3. We're at 2.9. All right, here we go. Plug this in right here. Well, I'm gonna wait for it to hit 3K and now start this right here. Where are we at? We're at 2.88. Let's go. It's not using any more power. What? That's all the power you need? 2.88. All right, let's go, power drill, let's go, power drill. Full speed, let's go, let's get that to 3.7. Let's go, 3.2, 3.1, 3.2. Go, 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 3.3, 3.3, 3.3. Ah, see, we can't trip it. 
You can't trip it. I literally can't trip it. I don't have enough load to trip it. I mean, this thing is just crazy. I mean, there we go. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, 3.5, 3.5. Let's go, let's go right now. Let's go right now. Three, four, 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 four kilowatt. Can we get four kilowatt? Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, I don't, uh, I see the microwave just finish the cycle. I think we're about done, guys. It's late, it's nighttime. I'm gonna eat my food. We tried to trip it, we can't trip it. This is crazy. The EcoFlow Power Hub. I'm gonna turn off some of this air fry right here. Toaster right there. And then the rice, oh man, look at that rice. I forgot to mention the rice is nice and toasty because we've been eating the rice the whole time. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner with my coffee. I'm gonna put this drill down. But guys, that is the EcoFlow Power Kit right here with the Power Hub, the AC, DC distribution panel, the EcoFlow, console and three of the five kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery this is a crazy awesome powerful system as you can see we got all this running all at the same time and i don't know about you but i am impressed with this awesome ecoflow power system right here